Now, onto a completely different kind of festival that's about to descend on Cape Town. We are talking about the Cape Town Cycle Tour. Now, in its 38th year, can you believe it? This is the biggest time cycling event in the world. 35,000 cyclists will be descending on Cape Town to hit 109 kilometers. We hope I've got Mr. Cycle Tour here, um, David Bellias and Edward Tomlinson. The other Mr. Cycle Tour, I'm going to have to say. David, Edward, thank you so much for joining us. You must be very excited. The weather looks good. Great. The track <laughs> looks good. Um, are we going to keep it at 109 this year? Uh, I, I'm looking at the windless skies <laughs> out there. I'm looking at the mountain and there's no smoke. So, yeah, it's, it's, oh, it's looking fantastic. What is it about this event? I've obviously been able to ride in it. I know what it's all about. But for the uninitiated, for the first-time riders, why is this such a, a special weekend? I think, I think there are a number of things. The route, there's no, no doubt that yeah. uh, Phil Liggett has said it a couple of times, you're riding around one of the most gorgeous peninsulas in the world. Um, the vibe on the routes, the people you're riding with is spectacular. The people of Cape Town come out and really get Completely, behind this thing, man. Uh, which makes it very special. Um, and I think a piece of advice for first timers is you don't need a sub three. Go out and enjoy <laughs> the thing. Just enjoy the, the people you're riding with and enjoy the, the, the spectators at the side Completely. of the road. I mean, Ed, you've done it a million times. Let well, Ed tell you. <laughs> well, Ed, you know, you're a young man at just 85 years old, so I suppose it, it mm. seems, you know, logic that you would be running around doing these sorts of events. What number is this for you? How many cycles? This is tours number 33 coming up. Only 33? Only 33. That is Sorry rather about. disappointing. <laughs> Why? Sorry about the ones I'm <laughs> <laughs> What keeps you coming back? What is it about this race? Well, I just love cycling. It's part of my life. And uh, there's something very special about the Cape. There's something very special about the tour. And it's just the whole scenario uh, is so appealing. And it's, it's exciting still after so many years. Uh, I get a real kick out of it. Um, and I think a lot of people who ride alongside you get a massive kick out of it as well. Um, it can be quite a sobering moment when an 85-year-old gentleman passes you on a hill, um, like Seikobosi <laughs> or, or the kind. Um, what can we expect from this year's event? Obviously, there was a bit of a, a shift last year, which we can all fully understand. This year, what, what stands out for you? What makes this year's event special? Look, our, our biggest change this year is we've moved the Expo to the Cape Town Stadium. And, and that's been a massive logistical challenge. It really has... Uh, obviously, there are parking issues at Cape Town Stadium because the parking that you would traditionally park in, we have an expo in. So yeah. it, it, it does not tell a bit of walking. We're encouraging people to, to use the public transport we've system to get there. a beautiful fan walk. That's what it's and there for, man. And, yeah. and we've got a My City bus service, which is absolutely outstanding. So use that, get to the expo. That's, that really has been a significant challenge. Uh, great to see Team Telcom coming in uh, with Nolan Hoffman, who's already a back-to-back -back winner of the cycle tour. And I'm, my money's on Nolan. I'd really love to have him come back and do it. Uh, and uh, the international entries are up, so the, the number of foreign accents around Cape Town at the moment on bicycles is quite phenomenal. So. But do you think it's still going to keep, we're going to keep that title here in South Africa? Listen, I'm convinced of it. If they couldn't take it, if, uh, <laughs> if Mark Cavendish couldn't take it last year, there's no way anybody's taking it from Nolan this year. I love that. Edward, can I ask you very quickly one piece of advice, one piece of motivation for, for riders out there this weekend? Um, don't fight the hills. Sure. Start off slowly. And then ease up. I absolutely love that. I wish you'd, I'd met Edward before my cycle tour, but all the best to everyone cycling out there in Cape Town. Put your best foot forward. Now, time to turn our attention to Online Matters. See who to follow.